it's only sad when we lose somebody, but I think really what's sad about it is that those two are such close friends. You know, they came through this whole thing, that they came together, they're, they're like sisters, they've known each other completely growing up, they both dance ballroom, they both, you know, they, they look a little bit alike, they look like they could be really sisters. And so, to you know, it was so great in the Green Mile that it got to be me that told them that they actually both get to stay. That was like one of the best moments of the show for me is that I didn't have to turn either one of them away, but here we are at that doorstep now where we do have to say goodbye to one ballroom girl. And they have been extraordinary. You know, Lindsay and Whitney have been very versatile. They both had amazing moments on the show. And, you know, yeah, you know, I'm going to miss her, but she'll be coming back for the finale and she'll be on tour, so, you know, it's, it's not bad. It's not too bad. For me, the quick step was phenomenal by, by Jonathan Roberts. It was a little bit unusual quick step. It had a lot of tricks in it, so we didn't see a lot of actual quick step dancing. But what Eliana had was just an amazing presence, and it, she was able to keep her shape through her body with her partner. She was in the right position. She does need to work on her top line just a little bit. Her right arm was still too stiff and straight. There's got to be some bend at the elbow in that top line. But outside of that, you know, I was surprised that she gravitated and was actually able to do it as well as she did. So she is proving to be our dance beast this season for sure. She's been amazing every single time. Oh my goodness, that Argentine tango. Of course we were on our feet. Talk about a moment for Keon during this because we've been beating him over the head about his performance and now the way he commanded this attention you know on stage it was like he was doing a solo but here he is outside his genre and looking every bit the professional Argentine tango dancer it was spectacular I was just so grateful that I'm here to witness that and Anya too she was on fire <laughs> it was kind of funny because I know in Canada I was sitting on the panel and uh, and one of the, the the big ballet star there Rex Harrington said uh, well I'm gonna put you on the sexy Rexy rocket to the moon and then the next judge said I'm putting you on Blake's bus and then I said there's an awful lot of transportation going on around here but you're on the hot tamale train so no I think it's cute I, I love it when people make reference to it or, or do another one and it's just it's just great <laughs> oh well I, I think it goes without saying the last number of the night was just absolutely phenomenal and so was the Argentine tango they were my two favorite numbers the, the whole night they were all great numbers but you're asking me to pick two so there I did it but they were they were all really pretty spectacular one I thought the best show to date yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you.